Right, we've got Mr. Barlow's 249. Done quite quickly. Nicely turned around. I'm not sure what I'm going to do about this yet. That's the battery you can see there. There's supposed to be a plastic cover thing here that uh, Barlow's obviously lost. I'll have to concoct something because a bit of the wiring and the battery is all on display here. Um, yeah, pretty much a full internal rebuild. Uh, I originally put an M120 in this, as you've just seen, and it uh, fired well over 400 feet per second. So swapped it to an M100 now, and uh, it's uh, 350 on the dot. Um, all in, well, not all internal rebuild. Just improving the stuff to get the FPS up. So new piston head, new cylinder, new cylinder head, new barrel, new hot rubber, um, full rewire, MOSFET, battery. So um, kept the same motor though, because it's got a decent motor, it's a Charlie Neo, which I think is 28 turns per armature, um, so it's nice and torquey. Um, so fire rate's not insane. Good enough, good enough for a support gun, definitely. So um, I'd say that's just under 20 rounds a second probably. But the good news is it's doing 350 on the dot now, and it's got Prometheus Purple Hot Rubber. So this thing should have absolutely killer range. I've reinforced the wiring in the big old box mag, so hopefully it won't break now. I didn't want to speed the gun up too much because I didn't want the box mag not to be able to feed as fast as the gun, and then I'd have to rewire the box mags the same as I did for my stoner, um, because the box mags for the stoner can now run on 12 volts instead of the three volts that this runs on. The box mags for the stoner can feed at 34 rounds per second, I think I measured it at. Didn't really want to have to go through all that trouble with this one, not for a support gun that um, Barlow's exact words were just make it something I can pick up and chuck around and it's going to do the job. And it certainly does that. Nice and solid. Very happy with that. Very quick turnaround on that one. All the parts are from UK and 249s are incredibly easy to work on.